Rebecca G. Sleece here. Today we are going to PAX East. I've never been, so I'm at the Seattle Tacoma Airport, which I've only been a couple times. And we're gonna do the thing. I'm so excited to bring you along on this trip because I have never been to a convention without a group of friends before. So I'm going for work and I don't really know what to expect. This is David. He's the most bougie person I know. And he brought me into this bougie ass lounge and we got bougie ass breakfast. <laughs> so apparently we are flying first class and I've never been first class before so I'm really excited because I don't know what to expect. So I'm going to give you guys a seat tour of the seat and how awesome it is. <laughs> Over here, we can recline the seat all the way back if we want. Let's see. What? And then this goes the other way. We can also make it go into a bed and cushion. <gasps> Massage! That's what's up, man. That's what's up. We have complimentary water over here and a low light guy with different brightness. And here there's like whatever to put, I don't know what in. Anything, I suppose. Um, pockets here, pockets here. Right here there's a remote that controls the TV. Here's like a ledge to put all your stuff. And they give you this stuff here. So right when you come in, this is on your seat. We'll do a little unboxing. What? Okay, so socks. Okay. I don't know what these guys are. I guess it's hearing plugs. Yeah, earplugs. We give you an eye little guy. What's this? Oh, cool! Hand lotion, lip stuff. What else do they give you? It keeps going. There's more stuff. A little toothbrush with mini toothpaste! Oh my god! And a pen for all your writing needs. No notebook though. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we also have two different types of outlets here and also USB chargers. But wait, there's more! We also have another outlet here with different charging needs. They also give you a blanket and pillow for your coziness. They even give you a complimentary drink. Do, do, do. <laughs> Even more new development. 
things. I have learned that this thing turns into a table. Yes, I thought it was just like a normal whatevers, but no, it's a turny whatevers. asparagus, tomatoes, a big potato, and uh, spinach with no butter on any of it. So it was kind of bland actually. Sorry, Morton's. It was, it could have been better, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good. And then we talked in the hotel like bar area and had some drinks. I got to learn a lot about YouTube from Jess, Jason, and David. And so they just gave a lot of insight and we had some really, really good conversation. Now that we're back from dinner, I want to give you a tour of my hotel room and we will start in the bathroom. This is the bathroom. We have a really, really cool mirror. It has like this backlighting, whatever's. It's fancy. We have mirror. We have a mirror. A ton of towels. Just a ton of towels. A little shower head action, a little shower head action, a little lever or like little whatever guy. I don't know, what is that called? A footrest? Thanks for shaving your legs, I'm not sure. We have another mirror here. And then over here, wait, what's in here? I don't know what's in here yet. Oh. You know what? This was on my bed when I just walked in, but I don't remember it on the bed when I put my stuff down. So that's interesting. I don't remember this here the first time, but it's there now. I have what looks like a king size bed for all my stuffs. This alarm clock thing is kind of cool. It looks retro and I like that. I definitely like that. The dresser guy, and there's another dresser guy over here, which is cool. A little seating area, couch area. And then this, I think this is a bar, like a little bar hutch. So the view from my hotel room is of the Boston World Trade Center. It's pretty neat. It's this old looking building and I don't know what goes on in the Boston World Trade Center. I'm assuming World Trade, but you know what? That might be a stretch. I'm not sure. 
I don't know. There's a little harbor. That's my uh, official 2019 PAX East hotel tour extravaganza. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. But I just wanted to share this with you. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. The Pokemon bar crawl. We spent a majority of the night at a bar called Hong Kong where there was tons of dancing. It was a lot of fun. And now I'm gonna go get some lunch because I am super hungry. And then we're gonna head down to the expo floor. Fridays, whatever day it is, is like a super, super busy day. And so I'm interested to see just how busy it truly is.
My precious. <laughs> Is this your precious? My precious. <laughs> Hey guys, I just got back to my hotel room. It is day two, but like the end of day two of the convention. I went to a YouTube gaming party. It was actually really, really fun. I played an insane game of Jenga, which I ended up losing. Tomorrow is day three of PAX East, so it's gonna be a Saturday. Notoriously at convention, Saturday is the day that it's super, super, super busy. So I'm hoping that tomorrow is not too bad, but we shall see uh, how it goes. I did get a little merch bag at the YouTube party. So this is the bag that I received. It just says YouTube Gaming. I got a little sweater that's actually really cute. It has the YouTube Gaming logo on it. It's red. And then in here we have a fanny pack there's also a pair of socks in here this is cool it's awesome i'm really glad that i was able to attend the youtube gaming party and just a big thanks to youtube for uh, allowing me to go hey guys i just finished lunch at by chloe i had a delicious delicious like taco salad with some mac and cheese with like mushroom bacon bits on it it was delicious honestly i've been there twice already because it's just that good i walked over to the convention center so this is day three of pax east it's saturday supposedly the absolute busiest day uh security easy peasy walked right through so i'm about to go on the expo floor and i'm expecting it to just be utter chaos yesterday i got to play a bunch of games and on thursday i got to play a bunch of games so i'm anticipating today there being lines lots and lots of lines to play games a lot more people it looks like there are crowds all here and straight ahead there's tons of crowds and The Rick Mobile from Rick and Morty. Dude, that's awesome. I just got back to my hotel. It is the end of PAX East Day 3. I am so exhausted. I think it's like 2.30 in the morning. I spent the night at Weston and we were all in like the lobby. There's like a bar, lobby bar, bar lobby, bar in the lobby, lobby bar. I don't know, there was like three bars in the lobby, whatever. And a bunch of people from Twitch and YouTube were all hanging out. And so it was really, really awesome to meet ton of different people because that's my favorite part not only do you get to meet fun people at these events you get to share in their content and be a member of their community so I'm hoping to pop into more communities and really make some more friends at next at more conventions and more conventions and more conventions and all the conventions <laughs> But yeah, so tomorrow is the last day of the convention. We are leaving uh, sometime at night. I'm not sure what time we're leaving. I think seven? I am hoping to play a couple more games than before. There are a few that I didn't really get to play today because today was filled with Just Dance. So our friends, they were competing in the Just Dance con competition and we were there supporting them. Good night guys for now and I will see you tomorrow. That's girls meet up. I got a brewer salad and some home fries. Yeah. This is what is for breakfast slash lunch. Hey guys, I made it to the event and floor for the last day of the fun. I have been blown away by every single thing I've seen. I just got back from L30 Squirrels meet up. He's a good friend of mine.
Pacific time. I'm a little bit on East Coast time, so it kind of feels like 4 a.m., 3 a.m., just three hours ahead. So the thing, it feels like the thing. Oh God. <laughs> David broke the YouTube gaming site. David, what do you have to say for yourself? It says it all. It says it all. <laughs> I am back from PAX, officially back at work, and I wanted to give you a final thought on PAX East. This was my first PAX East, so this whole entire experience has been from the point of view of someone who's never ever gone to the convention before, but from someone who's only heard stories about the convention, right? So I heard it was really busy. I heard it was crazier than PAX South was. And so let me give you the lowdown on what I actually think about the convention. Day one was Thursday, and I felt like Thursday was the day to play games. So if you wanted to walk around the expo floor and play almost any game besides like the big ones, like Days Gone or any of the Nintendo stuff or any of the PlayStation stuff, but like, any of the other game developers you could have like most of the games I literally just walked up and played them or was like one or two people online with day two being Friday it was a lot more packed like crazy amount of people and then you thought Friday was crazy Saturday was crazy as well there was a ton a ton a ton of people on Saturday to the point where I barely spent time on the expo floor. We were supporting our friends who were in the Just Dance competition. So traditionally at PAX South, Sunday is the day that is like dead. There's like no one on the convention floor, but there was actually a ton of people on the convention floor on Sunday. So if you are a first time goer of PAX East, Thursday is the day to do most of the things and then the other days you just kind of like take it all in It's amazing. I didn't get to go to a ton of panels. I went to one of Jess's panels and a Zelda panel and those are really cool I don't really have a whole lot to say about the panel experience because I wasn't a part of that But all of the after parties on the days that I went they were a lot of fun I met a lot of really cool people if you're looking to meet people then go to the West End because the Westin is where you will find a huge number of content creators and just people that want to talk about games that are there for the convention that are excited about it and so go to the Westin for some really good conversation but yeah so th those are just my overall thoughts on PAX East because this was my first time ever going and so if you're thinking about going to PAX East as well let me know some questions you might have in the comments down below I might be able to give some insight on a first timers experience and also give you some things and some ideas to do as well uh, if you like this video go ahead and hit subscribe so I know that you're enjoying my vlog content and you can also follow me on twitch twitter and instagram under uh, mac and cheese please i'll put those links in the description down below thank you so so much for hanging out with me all weekend long i had an absolute blast my next convention is going to be vidcon so i can't wait to see you guys there bye guys